Hello everyone and welcome to the beginning of a new career in al Arabic 1946. If you've been following the community poll I put up after the unfortunate demise of our beloved pilot McLovin, you will know that we will be flying for the Soviet Union. Now, you may have noticed the pilot name I have up here on the main menu, Nizimutanov Filia Maximovich. First off, I want to say I did not come up with this name on my own. In fact, I just used a simple Russian name generator that I found after a quick Google search. This was the first result that came up. I, I think it's a pretty good name. You can call him Max, Maxi, you know, for short. I think it works pretty good. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the career. So, I'm going to be flying for the Soviet Union. and. After some thought, our last career was flying a Hellcat. Uh, primarily going to be booming and zooming in that plane, especially against zeros. And uh, I thought I wanted to change things up a little bit. So we're going to be flying here in the center, starting off as a Mladshi Leutnant. If that's how you pronounce it, Mladshi Leutnant. L Lieutenant. Mladshi Leitenet. If there's anybody Russian watching this, please feel free to correct me on the pronunciation. Because uh, I'm a filthy American, so you know, my pronunciation's not so great. But let me make sure the difficulty is correct. Yeah, we're going to have all the views and stuff on. I mean, I'm not going to use any padlocks or anything. I have track IR, so really. Not even necessary. I uh, keep all the views on for cinematic purposes. And uh, let's see. Uh, I do not want any map icons for this. I don't want to know where the enemy planes are. We'll leave some other basic stuff up on here just for ease of use. And make sure, yep, that's off. All right, let's get into this. So, my idea was since we flew for a predominantly boom and zoom fighter. Uh, in the American playthrough, I thought it would be interesting to change things up and know what it feels like to be on the other end of of uh, the fight, you know, be the one getting zoomed or boomed. So we're going to be flying an I-16. Now, I want to first off say that we will be thoroughly outclassed by our German counterparts. They will predominantly be flying 109E7s and 109F2s in the battle I plan on doing because yes I also plan on changing up the scenery we're going from Pacific Islands and whatnot to uh, Russian winter so quite a change of pace but uh, we will be flying right around the close of 1941 when that historic Russian winter set in in late 1941 and really brought the German advance to a halt and gave uh, the Russians time to prep a massive counterattack using forces brought over from the Manchurian front. So I'm going to be flying I-16, not the Type 18. I'm going to be flying the Type 24. That's the one I know for sure as cannons. And let me just change some of this up. Uh, if we make it past Rejev to Kursk, Want to be we're going to be flying LAs after that. So let me just get all this straightened out here. Good old Lavochkins. Okay. Actually, I don't know what the difference between the LA7R and the LA7 is. We'll just use the standard. I, I don't think we're going to make it to Berlin, especially flying as an I-16. I will be thoroughly pleased if we even make it out of Moscow alive. But uh, yeah, we're gonna let's see. I know. Let's see, do they have the one seventy seventh VVS here? I, it doesn't look like it. Oh, they have. Okay, we'll just fly for the one seventy six IAP VVS. Not entirely sure. It's is historically accurate, but you know, you know, you know. But uh, without further ado, let's generate this. Now, I never checked my settings for the campaign before doing this, but I think we should be fine. I will have to start doing that going forward in 
future careers checking my dgen config file because I want to be able to set things to my liking. But as you can see here, winter map, I'm going to be playing an I-16. Let's read what they've got for us here. So it's going to be November 5th, 1941 at 12 midday. Clear weather. Good. Kind of lucky we're getting clear weather at this time of the year. So today our recon plane will photograph important targets near Condrovo. Wait, whoa. <laughs> I had just used a Spanish accent. Condrovo. Our observation aircraft is to search for signs of enemy troop movements. Comrade pilots. We are to ensure that it returns. Okay, so we're escorting a recon aircraft over Kondrovu here. Map, uh, I guess, taking photos or something of enemy positions in the area. Don't exactly know why we'd need six I-16s to escort a recon aircraft. I feel like that would increase its visibility and uh, make it more obvious that we're reconning the area. But uh, let's go to arming here. So, as you can see, we've got a, a nice I-16 here with some, some white paint just slathered on it for the winter. Or maybe it's something else. But you can kind of see the original paint scheme still hidden under there. Um, Loki might want to change my weapon convergences to actually be a little closer. Actually, I'm going to keep the machine guns. 300, but the cannons I really only want to be using if I'm right on somebody. Yeah, I-16. We should be getting, well, we're predominantly a turn fighter. We're really good at turning. And so high turn rate, or high turn speed and low altitude fighter. We're going to be pretty low compared to the German 109s. Um, and we're going to live in that kind of like that uh, 1 to 2,000 meter altitude range. That is our bread and butter. Now, I should have done a little research about, because this thing does have a supercharger. I should have done a little research about what altitude I should use the supercharger in the I-16. But I'll have to do that after this first mission here. Hopefully we do not die on the first mission. That would be extremely unfortunate. I did do a, a little testing. I flew an I-16 versus a 109 F2. Uh, I did win the fight, so but it's a little tricky. The if it's an Ace AI, we could have some serious problems. We're really gonna have to focus on using our turn rate to our advantage and never getting into climbing battles with 109s. The only time that would be acceptable is if he's bled all his energy trying to do maneuvers to shoot at us because our goal is to have the 109 overshoot. I'll understand when we put it into practice here, hopefully. Not this mission, and definitely in a future mission. But all right, without further ado, let's get into the mission. Actually, first off, let's look at the roster real quick. So yeah, Maximovich, he fits right in. Got guys like Alexeyev, Belashov, Chernik, Volkov, Sab Sabadalov. No aces in our, our uh, squadron here. Got uh, Major Gusenko. A lot of ground kills. Nice. All right, now let's get in the air. I will be doing the takeoff here for the first mission. You know, new plane, new setting. But uh, in the future, I will not hesitate to kind of cut out the takeoffs and stuff. Also, I thought it said uh, in the briefing that it was 12. This does not look like 12. This looks like 5 in the morning or something. Anyway, let's get this engine started. I said let's get this engine started. <laughs> oh gosh, is there something like a mag- oh! Okay, I guess it was just a little delayed there.
Yeah. Nice, neat little plane. Open cockpit, so this thing really was not designed to be flown very high. Yeah, wait, what time is... This is 12? What kind of 12... Is this... The sun is barely above the horizon. Ah, yes, Privyet. Kind of friendly planes. Looks like uh, we've got some PE2s that are going to be coming with us. And some other I-16s. Alright. Seems legit. Let's get away for these guys to take off here. Alright. Let's get this thing going. Hopefully engine overheating should not be a problem very much, because the temperature is quite low here. I think I saw it said negative 19 degrees Celsius, which is very low. Oh gosh, it has a manual gear. She didn't, uh, oh. Got to put this back. Already screwing up here. Okay. Stinking gear up. There we go. Yeah. I, I, oh, I didn't even use flaps to take off, but we're good, we're good. Alright, let's let the autopilot do its thing. Hopefully it won't kill me. Yeah, I'm also hoping uh, with the new mic I got here that uh, I'm not hitting the stand too much because I don't want to be producing any kind of cancerous sound artifacts for you guys. Alright, it's how far of a flight we got here. It doesn't seem like it's too far. It's a little, I think it's a little less than 100 kilometers, 80 something kilometers. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I don't know what the fuel situation is going to look like, because I'm pretty sure that this is not have a lot of range. Oh boy, okay. But yeah, I'll see you guys when we're over the target. Okay, we're pretty much over the target at this point. Still no enemy contact. We're actually flying a lot higher than I thought we would be, given the plane we're flying in. But I suppose the more altitude, the better. It'd be so funny if we actually get the... Well, okay, ho hold on here. No one called this up. Alright. Okay, we good? We good? Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, fun fact. This thing uh, has a float type carburetor, so if we pull negative G's, we will be losing power. Also, that is a lot of Germans. Okay. I don't like how many Germans there are. We have the altitude advantage, which is kind of rare for an I-16. What kind of planes are we dealing with? Those look like one- wait, are those 190s? No, no, no. Oh, jeez, we gotta go help those boys out. Make sure no one's behind me. Last thing I want is a 109 on my 6. Alright, let's see if we can go tango with some of these. Looks like we've got pretty good ratio. I really don't know what I'm doing with the supercharger there. Oh, wow. Dang, okay. Looks like we got some competent pilots here. I was not expecting that. They already shot them all down. Jeez. Oh, hold on. Still got some guys up here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, let's let's get over here. Are they shooting at the PE twos? It's looking. Oh, okay, that's not good. All right, I got my eyes on this second guy here. Double check my six. Nobody there. Okay. All right, I'm pretty sure these were one oh nines, but uh, didn't get a great look. The paint scheme looked a little off from what I'm used to. Alright, let's get on this guy. What's he gonna do here? He's going for the bomber again? Can't be serious, right? I mean, he can outrun me all day, but jeez. That guy's got him on lock. Jeez. I was not expecting a wipe like this. I also wasn't expecting like eight German planes either. Alright, we gotta chase this guy down. Which, I mean, chasing anything down in an I-16 is not really a winning battle. Kinda wish I got in the action a little sooner. Alright, let's see. Also, whoa, 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 what's going on here? I don't want to steal your kill, bro, but like... Okay. Uh, did that guy get... What's going on with him? Oh, he, he wants some. Alright. We're getting in his business. Oh, I missed. Oh, we've got the advantage. Here we go, here we go. Got some hits. Come on. Nope. Crap, my aim is so bad. I haven't played in a fat minute. Got some hits. Oh, jeez. Come on! Got his engine. Yeah, that's a 109. Jeez, the cannons are... Unstable. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. He's going down. My gunnery was definitely a bit off there on the first contact, but we pulled through. We'll see what kind of 109 that was. It looked like an F variant, but I'm not 100% sure. What's the fuel looking like? 63%? That's good. We still got this one guy smoking down here. Oh, that's enemy flak. I don't want to be... Hey, we're right over an enemy airfield. Jeez. Yeah, I do not want to get shot down by a flak. Let's get out of here. No stragglers, no, like, random jumps here? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that guy. Kinda sus. No, he's smoking, so he shouldn't be a threat. Uh, let's see what the AI does. Uh, okay, okay. What are you doing, AI? No, okay, we're 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 not letting this happen. I'm just gonna fly back home on my own. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Are we really going after this guy? Is it really worth it? I mean, I don't really see the point, but, uh, okay. Hmm. 
going to be underneath us. Oh, it looks like one of our boys is on him. Okay, this should be easy clap. Easy clap. Boys, don't make me come and finish him. I'm just the Mladshi Lieutenant. Oh, he's going on the ground here. He's about to make a belly landing. Yeah, he's about to crash land. There it is. Alright, let's get out of here. Everything's looking good. Our way back. Alright. Looks like the fight's over. Alright. Alright, well, I'll see you guys back when I'm at the landing strip. Alright, we got the airfield in our sights. It's more like an air base, honestly. It's paved and everything. But should be a pretty smooth landing. Might be a little bumpy because I haven't landed this plane before but shouldn't be too bad it seems like the rest of our boys are still out near the target zone but there wasn't really much going on so decided to go home all right let's uh, get the approach going this is a manual gear, I gotta remember that. Okay. Landing flaps ready. Just bring her on in. This uh, plane should have a pretty low stall speed, so we should be good. I don't know what's going on over there. Looks like one of the friendlies did a crash land. Kind of tough, considering how close we were to an airbase. Alright, coming in. Pavement now. Let's not hit too hard. Okay, okay, chill, chill. We're good, we're good. Alright, here we go. Good, solid landing. Alright, I can consider that a dub. Let's uh, see where the rest of our peeps are. So here's a PE-2. There is another PE-2. That's what I saw when I was landing. I crash landed right next to our airbase. There's some other I-16s. More I-16s probably from our flight. Okay, so everyone's on their way home or already crash landed. So I think it'd be appropriate to hold a mission. And let's see what the debrief tells us. All right, so looks like we kind of wipe the floor with some German cheeks here. Oh, they were PE3s, not PE2s, my bad. 
I was uh, saying that wrong the whole episode. So, okay, so we were actually fighting 109E4s. That kind of explains a little bit more why it was so easy to wipe the floor. Okay, so yeah, it was an E4B. Not an F variant, so definitely made it easier. Oh yeah, it looks like everybody was getting kills. Yusenko, two kills. Potagov, two, one kill. Solida, one kill. Good old Maxi, one kill. Yes, our commander is pleased. Okay, I don't know... Oh, so it says, uh, Mladshi Lieutenant Alexeyev and at like of PE21? Okay. So there was a PE2 out there? Not entirely sure. Maybe maybe you guys know more about this than I do. What uh, those uh, multi-engine planes were on our side. But yeah, we didn't lose a single pilot in that mission, and we took down what was it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six 109E4s? I, I call that a dub, honestly. But uh, yeah, let's see what they've got for us in the next one. Also, I, I think this is mad cap. There is no way that was 1,200 hours. That was either late in the day or early in the morning. So the game is lying to me. Okay. What are they going to have for us next mission? Oh my goodness. Also, what the heck? December 5th? Excuse me? All right, I might have to change some settings in the DGen before uh, the next episode. I might have it set to something uh, that is uh, not appropriate for what I'm trying to do here. But it definitely, it looks like the next mission has us doing a ground attack mission deep behind enemy lines. Oh boy, our odds of surviving this encounter. Might not be good. But uh, we're going to be using rockets to try and take out tanks? Okay. Anyway, we'll save that for the next mission. It has been a pleasure. And I hope to see you all in the next one.